So open book Q&A systems, um, they, they solve a lot of these problems. Um, this is also called RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. And again, this is just basically using a, search, a, using a search index or some knowledge store to help the model answer results rather than relying on its own knowledge. So <clears throat> research has actually shown, and it, there's, there's quite a few papers that state this, that often these RAG systems can outperform um, large language models at the question answering task. So if you actually, if you really care about question answering, um, a RAG system is usually more accurate than a closed book model. The sources are retrieved with the answer, allowing the user to verify the validity. Um, let me just move that a second. Uh, verify the validity and allowing the model oops, uh, to cite its sources. So you can check what it's telling you just to make sure it's accurate and you know why, where it got that information and you know if those sources are valid or not. Um, by forcing the model to ground its responses in some kind of source text or some, some uh, information source, it's actually also been shown to lower the hallucination rate. Um, so not only are these systems more accurate, but they tend to hallucinate uh, less. You know, and there's a lot of research that says this, I'm not just saying this. Um, it, 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 I've linked some of the papers here. Um, Information access. So you, because it's driven by a search system, if you don't want some user to access information, you just block those documents from being retrieved. So whatever ACL rules you have in place for your search system, you just apply them into the RAG system. And similarly, if you want to delete some documents, you, you, that with some data, you just delete documents and don't make them searchable. Um, you no need to update a model. Um, you know, it's very easy to, to do these kind of data control things. If you need to train a model in a new domain, you can simply give it a new um, a document store to search. You will still probably gain some accuracy by training that model to understand the, the domain better. Um, but out of the box, you could still start um, you know, without having to do that. And so because the system, oops, sorry. Because the system is a search system, the data in the model is, simple, is as simple as indexing the most up-to-date documents. So you're able to keep the system with the latest data, with the latest information, um, without having to retrain a model to constantly fine tune it. And this is why you very quickly saw Bing uh, integrate chat into their search system using a search, right? If you use Bing chat, you will see it, it actually tells you what searches it's running. It's not consulting the model for most of those questions, it's going on the web and looking for that stuff. And so it knows what's going on now, today, without having to have a model that's been trained two minutes ago. And so it, a lot of companies are using these in a rag kind of a manner, and it, the model is acting as a summarizer or a reader of search results rather than a, a system of record. It's therefore very important that the model provides accurate summaries of information. 